Before we get on to the complexities, I wanted to answer one question. Who should watch these videos? So I will call this ideal person you. So what are two characteristics of you that would be important? Characteristic number one, you is interested in, or you are interested in, data-driven decisions. Now there's two parts to this. One part is that you're interested in decisions. Uh, that should be easy. The second part is that you are interested in data and using data to make these decisions better. Well, I'm not sure what I can tell you here, but making decisions with data will lead to substantially better outcomes. So if you don't already make your decisions using just a little bit of data, I would recommend you do so. So who should it be for? Practically everybody. There's one qualification that you would need to have, and that is you do need to know algebra. Um, not just a bit of algebra, you need to be pretty comfortable with it. A high school level of algebra would be really nice. I've tried to make this course as foundational, as, as sort of building up from first principles as possible, but one of the things that I couldn't get away with was using some algebra, and I don't, I don't want to reteach things that a lot of people already know. Okay, so that's what you're like. So let me talk about what the course is like, since it's a little bit different from most courses. The course has three tenets behind it. One is it hopes to be as general as possible. So this means the tools that I'm teaching you here can be used in every single discipline, uh, to bioinformatics, to uh, econometrics. The second thing is this course seeks to be foundational. Okay, foundational. What do I mean by this? This means that everything that I teach in this course, I teach all the way from the bottom up. I don't really make many assumptions, and the assumptions I make are basically so foundational that you would probably think they were dumb. So the course is very foundational. The thing that I've left out of this is that there is a foundation in algebra that I'm not going to be explaining during this course, but everything else you should be able to pick up through this course itself. Now, the final thing that's interesting about this course is it is immensely practical. So it's practical. And what do I mean by this? The things that I'm teaching you are basically state of the art. You can go ahead and take a lot of these practices and slap them into whatever you're doing as your normal day job if you're a data scientist and know how to use the code to do it. So the things I'm teaching are not hyper theoretical and nor are they super old. So if this sounds like a cool course to you and you sound like this type of person, then I'd really recommend you continue watching these videos.